So I'm doing the, so um, Abdul, is it Abdul? Yeah. yeah. Abdul is doing the uh, um, buyer campaigns for me. Mm. And I noticed on some of, on the buyer campaigns, when they click on it, it, it makes them put in, so it gives them just very, very basic information about, that's no really no price, nothing, no terms or anything. And then they have to click on it. And in, when they click on it, it tells them like, um, you know, the house, the address, and gives them, again, just very, very basic information, no terms, no prices or anything. They don't get prices until they put in their name, phone number, and email address. And then they get the full listing of the house and, and the terms and the prices and stuff. And I just feel like, man, I'm getting a lot of just, I mean, a ton of unqualified, <laughs> terrible so you, leads. You, you should be advertising the price. That's kind of what I was thinking. So I wanted to make sure because he's not advertising the price. And I thought, well, yeah. gosh, people are clicking on it because they're curious. They just want to know. And, and the majority of them are not even interested. <laughs> right. So typically you would advertise the price, but not the specific street address. You could mention the town that it's in. But okay. You, want, you do want them to like, you want them to inquire yeah. You know, you got you to gotta give them a reason to inquire. Don't just sure. tell them everything. Sure. But yeah, so he's using a, he's that a, price as a filter. Yeah, I like that. So that's what I really wanted to confirm before I tell him to, to change it is mm -hmm. to add the price. I want the price on there, but take off the address. <laughs> yeah. And so what I would do is, and this is how we do it. We put the price in there, but not the address. They opt in okay. for the specific street address as well as more photos and a map of the property, right? And then it always says, do not disturb occupants, whether it's vacant or not. Do not disturb occupants. And then call this number for the lockbox code to see the house. That number, we have it, we use Pet Live for our buyer leads as well. Um, you don't have to, you can send them to voicemail, but the thing is you gotta get them all on the phone to pre-screen mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the way we get them to call us is by saying, Hey, call us for the lockbox code. Well, when they call us, we're going to run our pre-screening script and if they're not qualified, we, they don't get the lockbox code obviously, but okay. you know, so, but that's how we get them to call us. That's like, cause everybody, you know, everybody who's looking for a house, they don't want to talk to you or some sales agent. They just want to go see the house. Oh, I can get the lockbox code. Let me just call real quick. Thank <laughs> you.